guys and welcome to another episode of Tried and Tested. Now, okay, as an actor, right, I have like really erratic filming schedules, so sometimes I come home very late and then all the shops are closed, so there's no food around. And sometimes I'm just very lazy, so I'm at home and there's no food I won't eat. <laughs> That's very bad. So anyway, today we have like a whole episode on microwave food. This one is the butter chicken biryani from 7-Eleven. And actually, right, this is like one of my favourite like microwave foods because it really tastes really good. So this is what it looks like. It's got basmati rice and then the chicken. This is bluff one. You need to own self-cut if you want onion. And then also, if you notice, right, this expires like a few days after it's made. Whereas a lot of the other microwave food or like the frozen food, all that, they can expire like in a year or in two years. And so this is slightly different in that I think that they kind of like make it almost fresh, right? But it can like keep for a few days. Okay, I show you my favorite microwave food at the moment. See, you know what I really like, huh? Is they got very big chunks of chicken. Look, I think last time they had a bit more chicken, <laughs> but now it's like a bit less chicken and a lot more sauce but I'm not complaining it's still like a pretty decent amount of chicken and then last time I feel like old person last time <laughs> last time they used to have like fork and spoon with like a little serviette in a little plastic pouch that they put inside now no more now you need to find your own cutlery but okay like never mind don't complain now huh? okay you see how tender the chicken is it just kind of like falls apart and it's still got the firmness which is very nice mmm very good very, very tasty. It's still got the chicken bounciness. Not as bouncy as like regular chicken, but still not too bad considering microwave food. And then the sauce, mmm, uh, tasty. See the rice? It's nice and separated and fluffy. The rice will sometimes taste a little bit plasticky, but the sauce and the chicken, super short. I think so far, like this is the one that looks closest to real chicken to me. <laughs> and the taste closest to real chicken. And also, I think the fact that it expires after a few days, that gives me like faith that it's sort of like, not as much preservatives, I think, but there is a uh, fairly high amount of salt in this, definitely. You can t definitely taste it, but yeah, very good. So I would give this a... 10 out of 10. <laughs> sure. But... If you don't like salty, you cannot eat this. It's really a bit salty. This is the teriyaki chicken noodle from Zando. It's supposed to be low in calories and noodles. Look like noodles, but it's made of like cognac powder. Okay, we cooked and ready to try. Ooh, this looks okay. I would say not very appetizing at the moment, but it smells very nice. It smells like teriyaki and the noodles look very... Wow! The noodles are very bouncy. Okay, honestly, I was not expecting them to separate like this because normally, like noodles and baguette, you would kind of think that they all stuck together, but this is still very nicely separated. Mm. First, I try the noodles. I'm very excited about this, like, low-carb noodle. Mmm! It's like, nice and firm. Crunchy, almost. Mmm! Okay. If you don't really like to eat carbs, this is definitely a really nice option because it doesn't taste like real noodles, but it's a very different nice kind of noodle. Oh, very nice, very nice. Okay. Let's try the chicken. It's tender. It falls apart very nicely. The chicken is a little bit fibrous, but it's still tasty. Okay, we try the potato. Potato is completely seasoned. Like the whole potato has turned brown from the sauce. So if you like that, you would definitely love this. So if you're the kind of person who likes like very strong flavours, then this is definitely not for you. But if you are the person who kind of likes more subtle flavours, things that actually taste healthy, then this is an option because it's still flavourful, but much milder. Yeah. Let's try this whole mushroom. Mmm, this is going to be like the atapchi in the ice kacang, you know? <laughs> you only got like one atapchi, so you will search the whole bag for this one atapchi for this one mushroom. The mushroom is very nice, very nice. Ooh, but I definitely would say that best part of this here is the noodle because it's such a great alternative. I love the texture. Ooh, this is nice. Okay, I would give this like an 8 out of 10 because it actually comes in two separate packets. So you need to keep the noodles away from the sauce and the chicken and everything else so that it doesn't absorb all the sauce. So that means extra step in preparation. <laughs> that means I need to put it in a plate on a plate. Oh my god, so far so proper. <laughs> Alright, so this is the CP stir fried chicken and basil with rice and I've had it before and it's really quite yummy so I'm gonna show you what it looks like inside so we heated it up and let's open this up it's really a lot of sauce and it's not as dry as you normally expect your chicken basil to be it's a pretty okay serving of chicken now huh? no I don't think it's like a lot of chicken but it's not bad okay there we go spicy 
Oh my god, it's spicy! Actually, the seasoning on this chicken is really yummy. And you know what? I really like that you can actually see the leaf. Like, look, this is a whole basil leaf. This is like a whole chilli slice with its seeds and everything inside. So, it's real food. <laughs> It's really not just like flavouring or like bits of stuff they had left over or something. I don't know about the chicken, nah, but the rest of it is not. <laughs> and the sauce is uh, got a little bit of a burn. You can taste the basil, you can taste the chicken. So it's got a nice like chicken stocky kind of flavour to it. And there is a burn. So really, if you don't like spicy food, don't eat this. So if you were to go to a shop and like order food rice, say you want to order chicken basil rice, I think uh, if you serve this to me on a plate, I would believe that you cook it there on the spot. Yeah, that's how good it is. Because I have had food at like hawker centres or food courts that are worse than this. 9 out of 10. So even though this is microwave food, it doesn't really taste like microwave food. The only thing that you can tell is maybe like the chicken doesn't feel as springy. So it doesn't have like that minced chicken kind of feeling. But it's still yum. So this is beef rendang with rice from Prima Taste. Now some of you might have heard of Prima Taste before. Before they used to just make like sauces without the meat and you would like buy the sauce and then you cook it yourself with like whatever meat you want inside. But now they have an entire meal and a microwavable pack and it's like look at this entire meal beef rendang and rice in this hello that's tiny okay so we've microwaved it and it's still standing i think this packaging is very good and also that means that uh, you can be outside and eat like this no spill no fuss so simple it smells so good. It smells like a real meal. So there's not as much meat uh, in the packet as on the packet, but it's okay, you kind of expect that. First, I try some of the rice and the gravy. Because we're done, the gravy is very important. Oh, it smells so rich and deep. Mmm! Oh, there's so much depth in that. It's so lovely. It's not too salty at all. Like the coconut flavour is so fragrant. And it's like very nicely balanced. Okay, I understand why Prima sauces are like famous now. It's really um, doesn't taste like microwave food at all. In fact, again, it could taste better than some of the food I've had outside, you know? Okay, let's try the beef. Okay, let's see. The beef is a bit fibrous. A little bit hard, but the meat is very flavorful. You can really taste the rendang. But the sauce works best really on the rice. Oh, that's really yum. Mmm, it's very good! Oh my god, 9 out of 10! And also like 9 out of 10 because it's like so easy, I like this kind of thing. No fear of spillage, you know? Really no fear of spillage. Can you find microwave somewhere? On the set or what? Huh? Then you let it. How convenient! Hey, very good, very good. Wow, super shook! Oh my god, this is very nice. What did I say? Uh? 8 uh, 9 uh, 9 uh, 9 out of 10. 8 10 uh, 10 uh, 10 out of 10 uh, 10 out of 10. Okay, we come to the end of the episode. We hope you liked it. I am so full right now and I hope you're hungry. If you want to find out more about the products, how much they cost, where to get them from, go to the Tried and Tested Facebook page and you go to the Featured Products album. It's all there. And if you want us to try anything else, comment box down below. And if you haven't done so already, go and download the Click Network app because you'll be the first to watch all the videos before they even go on YouTube, right? Your special club. All right, in the meantime, go be beautiful!